Hey, everybody, look. I'm avoiding serious discussions with real-life people <laughs> to point out the fact that we got a giant outer space Illuminati triangle on the sun. Some people are like, that's not funny. I'm like, hey, you're right. That's why I'm best try to make it funny. There you go. It's all right there. Can you see it? All right, if not, I'm going to get it. Super creepy sun triangle. It is back. Somebody check out if there's any type of a strange earth weather correlation. I can't remember the last time that this happened to show. I'd share. Wow. Shushy was picking seashells down by a seashell. All right. That shoe. Man, it's weekend. Shut up. Get off my back. Well, no, not you. Keep- Newsflash. The Milky Way galaxy just got a little weirder. Active volcanoes. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. baby. Hit the button, baby. I think that scientists and professors say that activity is low on the sun because they are highly uneducated. Because are you looking at this thing? And remember, I've been saying this copy and paste, infinitum, repeat, forever. Now, we're looking at the whole sun. See a lot of activity going on. All different types. Filament snap-offs. Pop and snap, crackle, pop, electricity, lightning. Yeah, our giant, creepy alien armada triangle. And not only that, now we got, look, we got another sun shark up there just hanging out, building tool shed or something on the sun. Yeah, filament's going super low. And this is all really very crazy. Very, very crazy. What is going on? I'm curious. And I do love how when solar scientists try and correct me on my assertion that solar activity is extremely high, they point to just some boring ass chart. They're like, no, clearly, if you look on here, the solar spots are low, and the activity is low, and this is an extremely low activity, and this is an extremely low solar cycle. So you don't know what you're talking about, and clearly you have Durning Krugner syndrome. Krugner Durning? Krugner Durning? I don't know. They say that as much as they like to say ad hominem. Well, you know. Add hominem in a minute. Is there like a face? Can I have my solar science medal now, please? And if you could make it out of frosting, that would be great. It is totally freaky creepy. What the fudge nipples? See, I ain't said fit, fit. I haven't even mentioned fudge nipples in forever. That is exactly how terrified I am of the activity going on on the sun right now. And I'm sharing my terrification with you while inventing new words. Ain't that the reason you come to Thor News? Whiskey River has taken my mind. Shut up. No, you shut up. That is an active star. I'm going to take a minute out for Exhibit 227, which happened on May 9th, 2015. And in this minimal double-peaked solar maximum that is never-ending and really weird, it looks like we've seen another X-class solar flare and giant coronal mass ejection, where the sun just blows off chunks of stuff. You know, it's just solar stuff. Like, if the sun had a porch, it would just be like those cheap lawn chairs. You know. So, yeah, the sun lost two lawn chairs. So, that's nothing. Sure, it looks like one of them grew wings. But we don't entertain thoughts like that. Or else they throw you in the woo-woo truck. And there are no cold beverages in the woo-woo truck. Boom! Boom goes the sun. What is the sun firing at? Is that like a flirtatious? Flirtatious. Is that like a flirtatious coronal mass ejection? Is she trying to get someone's attention other than me and you? Well, she's got it. So yes, it looks like a dragon. What if the sun gives birth to dragons? That's a great question, Thor. Let's talk to ourselves in third person and freak everybody out. So yeah, go ahead and take the weird weather watch uh, up a notch. Go ahead and take the weird weather watch up, up a notch. Okay, massive. I'm guessing after a coronal mass ejection like that, the sun will no longer last 5 billion years, and they'll cut it down to like 4.9 billion. Remember, solar weather affects earth weather, so shit's gonna get cray, bro, as Kanye West would say. Exactly like that. And the sun is a reverse of a gold digger. It's more like a gold barrier. I've said too much in this simplified solar weather update. I gotta get back to earth weather, because that shit go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Makes me want to be the fourth member of Salt and Pepper and sing songs about how unprotected sex is dangerous. Man, it feels like the weekend. Am I talking like it's the weekend? Okay. How do you crap? Should I make jokes about cuddling? Should I not, should I not make jokes about cuddling? My life's weird. I know how to play this one. Oh, look. That really is a giant 
coronal mass ejection. The sun is the white circle in the middle. The giant blob of white chunky stuff is old parts of the sun it didn't really want or need anymore. And it's just getting rid of it. Or it's creating planets and asteroids when the plasma cools off. Some people say that's not possible. But, you know, somebody says something all the time about everything, man. And, um, uh, right, the microphone is now recording. Feel free to say cool shit. Yeah, that is like a solar cannon. That is really impressive. Look at that filament just tear off. That thing was huge. Now look at our solar cannon right here. Look at that. Just push. Look at that. That is fucking amazing. That is totally fucking amazing, kids. Seriously, though, you're in trouble. This is for 18 and up. It's doomy shit here. Even adults can't handle this. Look at that. It's super doomy. You got shit shooting out everywhere. Yeah, it's super doomy, man. Save for fucking kids. Get your ass out of here. Is that a 51? Um, this is only for people with a sense of humor. So if you like, so if like you saw a giant coronal mass ejection hurling towards Earth, you'd be like, ha, that's funny. All right, that wasn't that funny. Sorry, the solar shark that is building a woodshed is freaking mad. Now it looks like he's spanking somebody. That is not cool. That means he's mad and somebody's in trouble. Or they're building a baby. Isn't that how you build a baby? Baby? All right, I blame the giant space triangle. No, nah, maybe it's my fault. Okay. Man, I got too many subjects to talk about. Man, I have too many subjects to talk about. But look at this sun. Oh, uh, look at these two here. It's like they're lovers dancing, kissing, and hugging. And uh, it's just been confirmed that the filament solar tsunami were chugging monkeys. Yeah, chugging monkeys. Dark pink triangles are getting us in trouble. That's for sure. Look, this one looks like it sent out radio waves. Why would that salamander creature on the sun... Be building a radio wave thingy. Wow, look at the intricate formations and patterns. Tip top, clip clop, nimity. Wow, I'm gonna have to freeze frame that because that went so fast. Whoa. Super. Okay, let's pretend we're sailing out on our space boat together. Just observing the sun. I would turn to you and go, What would you say? I would like it if you would call me a knucklehead. But show that there was some type of a bond between us. It was like she sucked all the funny juice right out of me. Whoa. It's shooting greased lightning. Wow, I've never seen that. Have you? They're a great couple, as far as sunspots go. It's always good to keep the romance up. They look kind of sad. Yes, but I can't believe you said that. Wow. Can you imagine if layers of your skin peeled off every time you had an orgasm? That would change the whole dynamics of sex and fashion. <laughs> that was funny once. I didn't like it, so I never tried it again. Yeah, that's just weird. Then I looked her in the face and said, I am not a donut. Then she said, What? I said, I don't know. It's four in the morning. It's Saturday. Am I supposed to be making sense? You know, you should be looking at the freaky pictures of the sun. That thing's freaking out. If you stare in it, you start to say crazy stuff too. It's true. That's going to leave a mark. Yeah, I got nothing funny to say here. All I'm doing is making, making females mad. My social solar commentary so i will digress hello nasty solar physics has just turned into a beastie boys album and i fear those sunspots and i fear that sunspot is a high plains drifter yeah just overall in general the sun looks gnarly much like your face i'm sorry i don't mean to be aggressive shit this whole spot is just nastified to the nth degree it just keeps growing it's like a beautiful garden Blooming flowers. Let's get back to our blooming garden of color and magnetic fields. I wish I was still funny. It's okay, I'll be funny again. Maybe. Sometimes people just stop being funny. It's like, what happened to you? 